Hi everybody, been quiet on the car washing fallet front. I thought I'd do an update after all these years and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on power wash attachments, cleaning solutions, you name it, I bought it. Probably in everybody's mind, how many washes and fallets did I actually do? do? But like anyone that's not that's not in the washing wallet business I found weather wasn't with me even when it is good the only place I can park the car straight around trees birds etc not ideal today it's time to get the cobwebs out of my DeWalt Tough system uh, number two, Hoover etc and do a interior valet. So stick around to the end and I'll give my honest opinion on my me personally jumping down the rabbit hole of car washing and valeting. There is stuff away already like migra uh, towels, more solutions, brushes, etc. And that's not including hovers, which is battery and electric, car shower, steam cleaner, power washer, and upgraded fittings like longer hose, stubby gun, foam lance, and the list goes on and on. In conclusion, it was a noble idea at the time to become a weekend washer valata. But in reality, when you think I can get the car hovered inside and washed, about £14 just up the road. Health problems got in the way, and what I can't be asked in crap weather hit home. My advice is to hold back, ask yourself, am I actually going to do this start to finish? No ifs, no buts, before you throw money into it. End of the day, I enjoyed my months on the net, learning basics and advance. If this hobby or opportunity for making a living is for you, taking it, please take your time. There's a lot of help on YouTube, etc. I feel I need to get more meat on the bones was what I mean. To be honest, it's not the money paid for a pressure washer or even upgrades. I suppose that's a given. Nearly also nearly every household has means of a hoover and even a bucket or two. The price of all these magical solutions is is what got me for every stage i give up when it come to a power polisher like a balloon knot i bought the cheapest chinese polisher that's out of the box looked like looked naff lasted one quarter panel before overheated and it got launched oh I tell you then winter set in time to smell the roses what did, I, what did I achieve? Well, I definitely got a better understanding of the procedures, type of upgrades, and I bought more bottles to do a full wash and valets for the next few years. 
Therefore jumped down a rabbit hole and got carried away. When the weather was mint, well and good. I ended up not even a weekend washer. Closest I got is using a pole washer for the driveway. Don't get me wrong, the results were amazing. But it took a long time. I enjoyed it once I got going. Better than going to a drive-in car wash, I suppose. Advice? Do your own research on pre-wash, tar remover, fallout, snow foam, blah blah blah, and the list goes on. Stick to one, one brand in your mind that does the job. Before you get sucked into the sales pitch, there's always a new brand improve this and that. In the UK, I found Autoglim range was good. Maguire's range was okay and Auto Direct was okay as well. Gone a long way since the 80s with a bucket of washing up liquid, sponge and if you're rich enough, turtle wax. Good old days. Enjoy the journey ladies and gentlemen and do what makes you happy. But alas, for me, fortunately I jumped from one hobby to another. Hope this sort of reality video helps. Don't get me wrong, enjoy the journey. And as always, look after yourself. Love lots.